Here we go. Here's the Rouge level. This level was actually, I thought, pretty cool. Because it's not a treasure hunt. It's like kind of a puzzle thing where you have to kind of... Every step of the way, like the first step is like, okay, you got doors over there you can't get into. There's a waterfall in the way. See over there? Also, I made a joke about how much the water looked like Orange Fanta. That will be totally lost on you now that the moment is gone. Um, so I kind of poked around all the various doors and like everything else. So I realized you're supposed to be climbing these pillars. So the first trick is learning how to get up the pillars. And of course you can't climb all the way to the top of the pillar because these are little lips. So you have to use all four pillars. Okay, whatever. Exploration gameplay. This is kind of how all of the Knuckles and Rouge levels should have worked up to this point, but didn't. So it's basically a switch hunt. You're just looking for switches that lead to more switches that lead to more switches. Totally cool. So I'm going to stop time. Now I can go down here and fly through this waterfall without getting stuck. I can also kill this guy real easy when time is stopped. So we go all the way to the end, and now this room took me a long time to figure out because... Look how ridiculously narrow this gap is. Like, there's a time-stopping thing here. Let's get the camera in a good spot. You have to stop it and then climb up and through here before that next block comes through that little tunnel. That took, like, six tries to get correct. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Why, why won't you kill this guy, Rouge? Okay, now that he's dead, I get this invincibility. Like, the first few times I did this room, I thought I had to kill all these guys manually. You don't. There's an invincibility you can get and just kill everybody, and it's fun. But that was trial and error learning that. Are you getting the gimmick of this level? Trial and error? Are you getting it? Okay. Because the thing about trial and error is... Uh, it only works if the level is short enough and the checkpoint near enough that you don't get frustrated. What the level does wrong is every time you try something and error... You start back over at the beginning of the Tails level. I don't need to hit that clock. I can just... She would get off the goddamn wall. There we go. And get pushed through here and into the hole. And that was bad. But I got a ring, so it's fine. Uh, now to get back through the waterfall, we've got to hit this switch again. Uh, hit the bouncy. Hit the bouncy. There you go. And she messed that up. Good job. And now, oh, still got one ring. Still got one ring. Nothing is ruined. Everything is fine. Hit the bouncy. And we're, we're done. Okay. I can't actually see what I'm doing there, but that's whatever. It's that we got through the tunnel. That's the important part. There we go. There's the final switch. And then she drains the water out of the whatever cooling system in the space colony, and she floods this chamber. So that's the end of the Rouge level. I was fine with level up to this point. Yeah, I had to restart a few times, but each individual part of the level is short enough that it wasn't that big of a deal. Here's Knuckles, and here's where I really started the rage at this level. So, Robotnik tells you you need to find a switch, and if you go up here, here's the door I need to open. You talk to the Omichao, and he says the switch is located somewhere down there. So, what I did was, you, you can swim down here, and remember, swimming in Sonic means you drown. There are water bubbles. Where's the water bubble? Off to the side somewhere. They are... There's one. Like, it doesn't come out of a pipe or anything, so you can't see the, the feature that water bubbles, bubbles emit from. You just kind of have to get lucky seeing the actual bubble. So that's one knock against this level right there. You have no idea where the water bubbles are unless you get lucky enough to see one. So Robotnix is find the switch, and Omachow says the switch is down there. But if you go down here, the only door that's open is this one, which Rouge went through earlier, which goes into that room with the clock on the wall that Rouge went through. There's no water bubble in there. And if you go all the way in there and come back out, there's no time to actually explore that little chamber on the other side of that tunnel. If you go in there and explore, you will drown because you don't have time to get back out and get a water bubble. That's not what you're supposed to do anyway. That room is a total red herring as Knuckles. What you're supposed to do is kill this blue guy, which, by the way, here's, that, here's shades of that awful Robotnik camera we just saw. I want to go that way. I want to jump that way. But if any time you move after moving the camera, it flips back around. So you got to kill this guy by jumping at him kind of blindly until the camera cooperates. So let's kill him. May take a couple tries, but I'll, I'll get him. There we go. Kill him. Okay. Now, we have to go underwater. We have to find the clock on the pillar. There it is. And go back up. 
and to the end of this hallway, and now we can get down here, and instead of going down, like Amacho, Omichao told us, we have to go up, which opens a grate down underwater. That took three game overs to figure out. By this time, I think... My goodness, I have to pause and refresh my memory here. I think I got to the part where I was on my last life and I finally opened that grate and went down and couldn't find the grate to swim into because everything under the orange Fanta looks exactly the same. And I ended up drowning and starting back over the Tails level and I said, F*** it, I'm done, I'm not finishing this game! And it was all salty brick road times and... Anyway, I junked that video, you don't get to see it. Ugh. I don't know, this orange Fanta is kind of delicious. So, we're going to go down into the water now, and into the grate, which is right above the grate that you should not go in, but is for some reason still open. And there's a guy who shoots lasers at you. The lasers always miss as long as you're walking along the bottom. Um, immediately run this way, because there's a water bubble you need. That was another game over, trying to figure out where the water bubble was in this room. And sometimes Knuckles doesn't use the water bubble, there we go. There's a bomb back here, which kills all the monsters in the room, which is very pleasant. And then here's another switch I've got to hit to open the next grate. Now, the next grate has water going against me, so I need to use a clock to get through it. The clock is over here, and as far as I can tell, it is kind of down to luck whether or not you can get through this room before the water starts back up or not. So let's see if I get through. If I do get through here, I need to go immediately right and down. Look at this next chamber. There's another game over in this chamber here. Look at all these freaking lasers, man. So it was another game over trying to figure out how to get past the lasers, and then another game over after that, figuring out where the water bubble was in that room. No more water bubbles from here out. you got to fly through this last tunnel, hitting these time switches, or else the water starts back up and you're boned. And then I finally got to this room, which is the last chamber, another game over here, trying to figure out where the water bubble was in this room. And keep in mind, every game over involved starting back over with Tails and Robotnik and Rouge and doing all that again. Rage! So this knuckle section is what almost broke me and wanted... Like, if I had a retail copy of this game, I would have taken it out of my PS3 and snapped it in half! But, I calmed down. I learned the level the way I was supposed to. And now we're into the Sonic level. Which I got another game over. Look how fun this is. Okay. So you go over here. And here's these two guys. Let's kill them real quick. You have to kill them with a somersault because... Reasons. Because for some reason, Sonic can't kill them. Somersault him, Sonic. Oh, I guess I can jump at them. So there's that guy over there, right? You're thinking, oh, I gotta jump over there and hit that guy. But before that, you see Omichao. So you talk to Omichao, and Omichao says... Okay, so I gotta jump over there and bounce off the guy, and there's a platform above him. Spoiler warning! There's no platform! I lost my last life there. I had to restart over his tails, blah, 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 blah. Rage quit, salt the brick road. You guys get the idea. So what do you actually have to do? Ignore Omichao, turn around, and there's a path, there's a door over here you can go to. But if you try to walk towards it, the camera flips back around. Every time. Everything in the game is telling you to go kill that guy there. Just be careful because there's no floor to catch you, but there's nowhere to jump to. It's just an empty room with a bottomless pit. So the camera's pointing me there, the little NPC helper buddy's telling me to go there, but that's not where you go. You've got to go this way. You hate, like... I, that's... I don't even know how to describe that. That is... <laughs> so, okay, we're gonna go over here. And... Oh, no, you gotta kill the guy to open the door. That must be it. So we kill the guy first, and then get back and open the door. There we go, now the door is open. So, my goodness, that took another game over to figure out. Kill this guy here. Got him. Uh, stop time again. I'm not really sure why. Uh, then there's this room here where... Let's see. Can I... The clock is behind me here. No, the clock is over here. Up on this ledge. I forgot about... I, ha I even forgot I had that bounce move anyway. So, so that stops time so you can kind of... Whoa, oh, no, no, don't get crushed, Sonic. Okay, good job. Good job, boy. You did it. So now basically the hard parts are behind me. I'm pretty good from now on, I think. I mean, you kind of have to uh, go through Sandopolis zone here, which is down to, like, the longest sand slides in history, and the camera keeps moving around so you can't see the slide itself. 
But whatever, it's not dangerous. It's just kind of fun. You slide down. Um, it would be more fun if it didn't remind me of Sandopolis, which is one of the worst levels in classic Sonic games. Just the longest slide ever. And then you get the goal. That finally ends the level. You gotta go through all five of those sections just to get the checkpoint. Now if I lose all my lives, I will start back over on the boss fight with Shadow, which is good, because I did lose all my lives there. A lot. <laughs> this game.